That's all. Push, 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 push. Like velvet, yeah, like yes, velvet. Yes, chef. Pas bien. Change le. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Show me, show me, show me. No, all at the same time. All at the same time. Yes, chef. We got it. Yeah? Okay, good. Everyone, wait. Yes, chef. Right? Double of everything. Two of everything. Yes, chef. Come on, guys, pick it up. Come on, this is the dish. You are looking at that all the time, yes, yeah? Sir. You have eyes on the whole time, so you have to pass. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at me. Yeah? Yes, sir. You up for it? Yes, sir. All right, let's go! Yes, sir! Come on, let's go. Um, I'm Renee Smith. I am uh, serving right now as the Interim Associate Director of the University of Arkansas, Pulaski Technical College's Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management Institute. Uh, I have been the, the Director uh, and involved in the Institute since uh, 2007, back when it was the Arkansas Culinary School. I've uh, seen it go through lots and lots of changes, growth, um, dealing with all these issues now with COVID and uh, lots of students come and, and graduate, get their degrees and their certifications and I just think it's the most wonderful thing that we have here in Central Arkansas. How did the school start? That's a great question. The school started uh, back in the mid-90s as, as an apprenticeship program with the American Culinary Federation and a, a group, this was before my time, uh, a group of chefs got together in Central Arkansas and uh, determined that they needed a, a way to train new up-and-coming younger people to fill their executive chef spots and, and just uh, bring more prestige uh, and quality uh, and consistency to the food service industry overall. And so, uh, Several local chefs work with the American Culinary Federation and formed uh, the Central Arkansas Chapter and an apprenticeship program. And back in the day, uh, students, they were already employed at a restaurant, a food service operation. They took classes on Monday, pretty much all day long, and then they worked 40 hours in the industry the rest of the week. And it was like a, they had to complete 6,000. 6,000 on-the-job training hours. It was about a three-year program to get finished. Um, <clears throat> Quality Foods, Performance Food Group uh, offered the, the group, and it was called the Arkansas Culinary School. Uh, they offered uh, kitchen space, classroom space, and the, the program existed uh, at PFG Quality Foods from the mid-90s up until um, about 2006. Um, the students that uh, participated, uh, they had to be scholarshiped in, they had to pay their own way, there was no financial aid available. And that became a, a huge challenge. Uh, the, the person in charge of the culinary school at the time started negotiating with Plasky Technical College about becoming part of the, the college so that students would be eligible for financial aid. And so uh, a deal was struck and uh, partnerships were made and the Arkansas Culinary School started offering classes under the Pulaski Tech College flag in the spring of 2007. And because it was an off-site location, enrollment was limited to uh, 99 students. Couldn't have more than 100 students. And I joined in uh, July of 07, so it had been like a, a, a full semester with the college. And enrollment increased because students uh, could get fi federal financial aid, like Pell Grants, that they didn't have to pay back. And enrollment continued to grow. We had um, a, a director, I was the assistant director at the time. We had a, a secretary, and then we had one full-time instructor. And we hired uh, other chefs as instructors to teach a class or two. So the program grew to the point where uh, we were having to turn people away because we were limited on how many students could participate. The college uh, purchased um, the property out on Interstate 30. It used to be the old outlet mall. It was like a, 
flea market, uh, they had uh, motorcycle swap meets, all, all kinds of uh, events, big, big place. The college purchased it, remodeled it. Uh, it has a, a kitchen and classroom space, and so the PFG needed their commercial kitchen back, their, their space, and so the, the program moved to uh, one of the UA Plasky, oh well, it was Plasky Tech at the time, to Plasky Tech's side called the South Campus. And uh, we actually taught classes, uh, had one kitchen to work with, uh, we also had to provide food service for the students on campus, so we ended up teaching classes in, in the hallways. Uh, put prep tables, uh, butane burners, induction burners, uh, convection ovens. We had uh, three rounds of classes. We started classes at like uh, 7 in the morning and didn't finish until 10 o'clock at night. And um, did that for a about five years, and in the meantime, the college floated a bond to uh, construct a new culinary institute and also another building over on main campus for the arts. And so uh, we opened the Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management Institute building in uh, August of 2013. It's uh, close to 60,000 square feet. It has multiple kitchens, a butchery lab, bake shop, confectionery lab, a wine room, a mixology room, uh, classroom space, a, a theater, a computer lab for students to use. Hello Cisco, Arkansas and Pulaski Technical College. I'm Robert Irvine and I am so sorry they had to miss the celebration and dedication of the Cisco Le Culinaire Dining Room at the Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management Institute at Pulaski Technical College. Aspiring chefs at Pulaski Tech receive world-class culinary education at an unbelievably low cost. It takes place in a brand new LEED Silver Certified facility. Pulaski Tech is one of the few colleges in the country with dual accreditation. And I fully support Cisco Arkansas's educational commitment to the students and graduates of Pulaski Tech. Good luck to the future graduates of the program and congrats to both Cisco Arkansas and Pulaski Tech on the building of such a fantastic partnership. Uh, enrollment grew to the point, I think the, the largest was, uh, we had around 400 students at one time. Um, and we, we quickly filled the space. So in, enrollment has stayed steady at around 300 students. Uh, we have a multitude of programs. Uh, we offer an Associate of Applied Science degree in Culinary Arts. There's also, and it's accredited by the American Culinary Federation, so when students complete their associate degree, they are also given the Certified Culinarian, which is the first level of certification in, in the chef world. Uh, we also have a technical certificate in culinary arts and we have two certificates of proficiency in culinary arts. So as students are progressing through their course of study, uh, they can get multiple certificates of completion, uh, diplomas of graduation, plus their American Culinary uh, Federation certifications. We also offer an Associate of Applied Science in Baking and Pastry Arts and that also is accredited so students complete with the Certified Pastry Culinarian. We also offer a technical certificate and three certificates of proficiency in baking. There's one in basic uh, baking, there's one in uh, basic pastries, and there's one in cakes and cake decorating. And uh, we also have an Associate of Applied Science in Hospitality Management. And that degree is accredited by the Accreditation Commission for Programs in Hospitality Administration, ACFA. We were the first community college in Arkansas to achieve that accreditation. Uh, now I think there's at least one other community college that has it and one uh, bachelor granting institution in Arkansas that have that. And in the hospitality program, uh, there are multiple uh, degrees. There's a technical certificate in hospitality. There's a certificate of proficiency in uh, restaurant uh, operations. There's one in bar operations. There's one in lodging operations. And now we have what we call resort management, which focuses on the gaming industry. 
We also, uh, a few years ago, three or four years, three years ago, created a, a technical certificate in dietary management. We also offer a certificate of proficiency in dietary management. The um, dietary management area has really grown uh, in, in the food service world. Uh, rest, or not restaurants, but uh, hospitals, uh, nursing homes, uh, it, um, extended living facilities. Uh, it, if you're getting any kind of federal funding, you have to have a certified dietary manager on staff. And so we got our dietary management program uh, approved by the ANFP, the Association for Nutrition and Food Service Professionals, I think. Um, and we're using their curriculum. And so students that complete that program sit for the CDM, the Certified Dietary Manager exam. And we've had, uh, since we started the program, we've had a couple already pass. And uh, we did a lot of research about uh, the need and uh, compensation. And uh, uh, people that go into that field can make pretty good money working at a nursing home, a hospital, a, a retirement center, a school. Um, so those are, those are the four credit programs. And then we have uh, workforce training, uh, non-credit workforce training, customized training. We have short non-credit uh, community education classes that, and then it's on a specific topic. An individual can sign up and, and pay a, a, a nominal fee and attend a class and learn to bake sugar cookies or learn about food and wine pairing, just specific topics. Uh, in, in the summer, usually during the month of June, we offer four weeks of youth uh, camps uh, in culinary, in baking, and in cake decorating. And we have various levels of um, students, uh, anywhere from 10 to 16. It's usually around the 12 to 15 year olds that participate, but um, they sign up and, and they do a week long class on, on baking or culinary or, or cake decorating. And on Fridays, we um, get together and host a big banquet. The, the kiddos can invite uh, a couple of guests, their parents, grandparents, guardians to come, and we all celebrate. They, they, the students have uh, cooked, prepared the food and, and the desserts, and so uh, a good time is had by all. Uh, looking just briefly at the past, the hospitality industry, including food service, lodging, tourism in Arkansas, uh, is the second largest employer. Uh, we've taken a huge hit with COVID, uh, as not just here, but everywhere. I think, uh, you know, once we go back to the, the new normal, whatever that is, uh, Arkansas is a very hospitable state. Uh, Central Arkansas, even small towns around in Arkansas. Uh, people want to go and, and uh, dine, they want to go travel, they want to be tourists, they want to take advantage of, of the wonderful, beautiful things that we have in Arkansas. So I think even though right now uh, we're, we're taking a hit employment-wise, I think it's going to come back very soon. Uh, and. Our, our graduates, uh, we try to explain to them that they're not chefs when they complete the program. They're not a pastry chef, they're not a sous chef, they're certainly not an executive chef. They are certified culinarians. They have the basic skills that they need to succeed and do well. Uh, we feel like we strongly encourage them to find a, a chef, a, a baker, to, to work with, to service their mentors so that they can increase their skill level. They may be very good at cooking. If they want to move up in the industry, then they need to learn more about the business side. Obviously, customer service is, is critical no matter what you're talking about. So I, I feel like um, there's, there are still lots of jobs out there and there will be more jobs. Uh, we do have graduates that um, have purchased their own business. Um, we, we work with uh, a lot of our students that are starting food trucks. That seems to be kind of like a, a big trend right now. Uh, in, in Little Rock, there is a, a kitchen incubator um, that actually one of our former students started. So uh, 
an individual, and, and most of them actually are, are our students, our graduates or former students. Uh, they can go work in this commercial kitchen and experiment with their special product that, that they're trying to develop and um, to, to get it on the market. Um, I, I think, personally, I think it's, it's very critical uh, if you want to be successful in this industry that you've got to wrap, wrap your mind around I, I, I love this, but it's hard. It's, it's hard work. And there's no way around that. It's hard work. Uh, we tend to work long hours. We work weekends. We work nights. We work holidays. We work when other people are playing. Uh, we're in the service industry. And so as, as long as, as you can accept that and embrace that, you can be very successful. And the cool thing about this industry I think is you can be recognized very quickly and you can move up very quickly in your place of business or go from one place to another place. There's so many different kinds of food service operations. Um, most, most of our students when they come in they want to be an executive chef somewhere like in a country club or they want to own their own restaurant or, or their own bake shop and we, we try to um, throw in a little bit of dose of reality there. Uh, we don't want to stymie their dreams, anything like that. We want to support them, encourage them as much as, as, as we can, but we want to also show them reality. And so we want all of our students, uh, they have to do an internship program to hopefully get them out in, in the field and uh, so that they can learn what it's really like. I would say the majority of our students either are currently working in the industry have worked in the industry or are looking for a job in the industry right now. So most of our students are, are working while they're going to school. And because we are a community college, um, most of our students uh, are older. We have uh, students anywhere from 18 to in their 70s. And so we have the traditional college age students, but we have a lot of uh, uh, career changers. And then we have a group of uh, people that are in retirement or near retirement that just have always wanted to do this. Maybe they want to do some catering or they want to, to uh, bake cakes, cake decorating, things like that. Uh, so I think the industry is, is very vital. I, I think it's going to be stronger than ever here in the next few months, years. Um, people, people enjoy going out and uh, eating. We, we're fortunate in Central Arkansas because we have such a variety of food service places. You know, we have nice, elegant, upscale restaurants, and we have mom and pop places. Uh, we have franchise places, uh, quick service places. And I tell our students, there's nothing wrong with working at a fast service, fast food place. You're gonna learn so many skills there. And maybe you don't wanna stay there forever, but uh, don't let anybody call you a hamburger flipper. You are much, much more than that. You are learning those skills that are gonna carry you on up to the next level. So, uh, like returning students, you've, you've completed your first semester, hopefully very successfully. Uh, sometimes, particularly first semester students, based on my experience, uh, high, uh, college is so different from high school. Uh, this this field is so different from like if you were studying maybe nursing or math or engineering or whatever. Um, so staying motivated to me a lot of it comes in, from inside um, and that's why we try to develop like a family atmosphere here so that uh, we, we can help you we, we want you to enjoy overall what you're doing, uh, but we're going to be doing some things that you may not enjoy that much as you do other things, but, but there's a reason that we have to do it. It's, it's all just kind of like stair steps, and you just got to keep moving up uh, because what you learned in food one, you're going to apply to food two, and what you learned in food two, you can apply to food four, and so forth and so on. Um, Trust me, the curriculum has been designed so it's like a stair step. And 
that's why we don't allow you to skip from food one to food four because you don't have the skills yet for that. Um, to, to stay motivated, I think you have to you have to continuously evaluate yourself and look at you know what 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 is what am I getting out of this? Um, why? If I'm not as excited this semester as I was in the beginning, well, what changed? Did, did I change? Are, are there outside influences? Um, who can I talk to about that? And, and yes, I do encourage students to, to come and talk to me, uh, to their faculty members first. Um, I don't know a single teacher, faculty member here at, at the Culinary School and Hospitality Institute that is not willing to help you as long as you're trying. Uh, we give second, third, fourth chances. Uh, if you don't do well, it's, it's probably because you didn't do the work. It's not because we tried to trick you, it's not because you're not capable of doing the work, but you, you have to put in that time and uh, you have to be dedicated to it. So to stay, to stay motivated, and I mean, you're not the only one that has trouble with motivation. I think all, everybody does, no matter what field you're in. You know, you have good, we have good days and we have bad days, and, and uh, you have to kind of just keep focused on that ultimate goal. And it's like the proverbial eating the elephant kind of thing, you know, just step by step. Uh, if, if you are feeling like I'm, I need a little pat on the back, you know, talk to your instructor, come and talk to me, talk to fellow students, you're probably not the only one experiencing this challenge. There, there are others there in your class, in, in the building that are experiencing similar things. And so sometimes just getting it out, talking about it will, will help. Um, we want you to just feel really good about what you're doing because you're creating. This is such a unique field. Um, not, not everybody can do this. Not everybody can do this. And you've chosen to do this. And so give it all you've got. Don't give up. Don't be, don't don't say, oh, I can't do that. But you, you can do it. You can do it. So just take a deep breath and take a step forward and keep moving. still here? It's over. Go.